Hi, welcome back to Backstage Tacoma. We're here in the studio of artist Matt Ciso, who is the subject of Join Hands, The Art and Life of Matt Ciso, which will be screening in October at the Community Center. Hi, Matt. Thanks for talking with us today. Hi, thank you. I'm glad to have you here in my, uh, my uh, studio. Awesome. Um, so why don't you tell us a little bit how you got um, connected with Leslie Abbey, who's the filmmaker. Okay. Um, I met Leslie at one of my shows um, back in, I believe it was 2003. Um, it was at Hofstra University in New York. And it was a show for disabled artists and also for people who, I think it was called The Art of Survival. So it was also people who maybe had cancer um, and survived that and were, and were doing art about it. And also a, a variety of, um, I guess, things that had happened to them. So I had done this huge painting um, on this wall, actually, behind us back in about, what, 12 years ago. And um, it was about the day that I... Um, when I was playing in a small, um, by a small airfield in Nebraska where I grew up, I was eight years old in the 70s and an airplane was landing and, and uh, severed my uh, left arm. So uh, I did a painting about that. Uh, it was huge. And um, anyways, they, that was one of the featured paintings in this exhibition at Hofstra University. Leslie was there documenting um, the stories that people were telling and things. And she, de she decided at that point, um, with the interview she did with me, which is in the movie itself, um, to, to follow me for the next, I guess, 12 years and work on this, uh, this film. So it was kind of um, a long process to make the film. Um, how was that, having someone document, you know, your process and your art? Yeah, it was, it was really neat because what she did was she, would, she came to D.C. on several occasions and interviewed people who had bought my work, um, asking them questions about, you know, like why and what, what they like about it. Um, and also she even came to one of our Thanksgivings in Nebraska and interviewed my family. So that's in the film. Um, we went to the location of the accident, um, which is out in the country in Nebraska. So it, it was really interesting and a little, you know, odd because I never, I was always thinking, you know, I don't understand why anybody would be interested. I mean, I, and I know it's an interesting story, but it just seemed a little like uh, uh, fantastic to have somebody follow me around with a camera. For, for so long, and, and, and the, the movie itself ends, not to spoil the ending, but um, with my wife and I getting married at, a, at an exhibition, an art exhibition in Washington, D.C., um, so it's pretty cool, and it, it, it was like a big happy ending kind of thing. That is awesome. It's like a, you're a Kardashian or something. Ah, yeah, <laughs> yes. um, so why don't you tell me a little bit more about your influence? Um, do certain artists influence you, or is it experiences you've had like your accident? Yeah, I think... Uh, to begin with, my the reason I got into painting was just to kind of hang out with people who I thought were cool. I was dating a girl at the time, and um, yeah, her lifestyle in Mount Pleasant was where we were, you know, where she lived, and, and li she lived with a, a house full of artists. And so I was like, kind of pretending that I could do it too, and it was really funny. So I, I just really took to it. I, I started to um, have a lot of fun with you know putting the colors down and making the paintings and all that. And what the way it started is I would take the city paper, the Washington DC city paper, and look at ads and, and you know, ads for shows and bands. And then I would kind of like try to draw those or paint those. And that's kind of how it started. And then I went into painting about my disability and painting about the accident. And then that's when it really took off because I was, it, I found this natural, um, I guess a lot of people say that the, the art of healing, the art, the way that people who go through trauma or, or, you know, bad things, maybe sitting down and painting about it or drawing it is a great way to help express yourself and, um, you know, maybe get through some of the harder, harder parts of that. Um, so anyways, I did, I started doing that and that's kind of how it hit all, it all took off. And I, I would go down to the, um, the museums here in DC and look at art, get inspired by painters like de Kooning, William de Kooning, uh, Francis Bacon. And then there's a lot of, uh, Jean-Michel Basquiat, if I pronounce his name correctly, but there's a lot of like his little iconography that I've, that I've been influenced by. For people who are coming to the screening on October 8th at the Community Center, um, what else can they expect to see in, well, in your life? <laughs> yeah, well, the, the, the part that's really embarrassing for me at the beginning of the film um, is the interview in 2003 when I was in New York for this show. Um, and I, you know, she's asking me these questions and I'm kind of like the first time I've ever been asked these questions about my disability and how I felt and, and I just start bawling. So that is, you see that, yeah, in the film and I'm just like, uh, I, so I have not even watched that part of the film. I just fast forwarded through it because it was so embarrassing to me. So you get to see me cry, which is good. Um, which 
12 years ago. But, and, that, and that's really, I think, pretty telling because when I first started, it was such this like raw, you know, emotional stuff that I had just kept inside of me for like 28 years and hadn't really, you know, let, let out. Or not 28 years, I guess 20 years. But um, so dealing with that and talking about it was really hard for me to do at first. And I was like, oh. So anyway, so that's in there. Um, there's a lot of interviews with people who collect my work. Um, some, some really cool people, DC musicians and stuff who, who have it. Um, there's some good music in it. Um, so I don't know. And a lot of my paintings, a lot of, you know, you see a lot of my art. And I'll be there, too, at the, at the screening to answer questions. I guess we'll have a Q&A um, at the end or, or before or whenever. But um, I'll be there. I'll have a bunch of paintings as well, if anybody would like to pick up some originals. <laughs> um, anyways, you know, and, and other artists, too. Like, if you have questions about making it in the DC art scene, I could help with that. Um, I also show internationally. There's a lot of, you know, like, advice I can give to young artists um, looking to emerge and things like that. Sounds like it's going to be a really good screening. Um, thank you so much for chatting with us. Great, thank you. All right. um, so be sure to head down to the Tacoma Park Community Center on October 8th at 7.30, that's a Thursday, um, to see Join Hands and to meet Matt. And um, st stay tuned for another edition of Backstage Tacoma next month. Thanks.